Ladies and gentlemen, this main event is a professional bout and it is scheduled for three five minute rounds. Introducing first the fighter to my left, fighting out of the B2 Digital Blue Corner. He stands five feet seven inches tall and weighed in at 161 pounds. With an MMA record of 12 wins and six losses. Representing BTC from Burlington, Ontario, Adam Asenza! <laughs> and his opponent to my right, fighting out of the One More Gym red corner. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighed in at 161 pounds, with an MMA record of 13 wins and six losses. Representing IBG from Indianapolis, Indiana, Sean Connor Fallon. I mean, you can just see the difference right now, the movement right there. Adam's moving around a lot. Found some very... A sense of bouncing around. Fallon. Just chilling. Good circle there by Senza, not staying on the cage. Senza looks very fast. Oh, and oh, yeah. Fallon cannot take too many of those kicks. Those are very powerful kicks and stuff. Yeah, you got to check that. He's Man, and he's just switching that from South Paul to Orthodox. He's looking for any opportunity he can to, to wear that leg out. Ooh. Fallon's going to have to adjust here. He's going to have to get off and close that gap. Has to do something. He can't just allow Asenza to stand here at range and kick him for five minutes. I mean, and Fallon needs to really get in and try and there work his go. hands. Oh, grabbing yes. the cage yeah, right there has got to be... But Fallon don't care. He's staying working. It's pretty blatant cage grab there. Yeah. And, and it's hard to fight that instinct sometimes. Yeah, but, I mean, that's supposed to be, if it stops the takedown, it's supposed to be penalized. Yes. yes. Well, I, I like Fallon's uh, game plan right here, not, not letting his opponent get out. He doesn't want to be in the middle of the cage. He wants to be right here where he's at. Good knee landed right there. Yeah, this is the world for Sean Fallon. Like we said before, he's very content to grind this out. Yeah. I mean, and Senza again doing a good job of spinning off that cage. He Fallon needs to do what he can right now to try and push this up against the fence again, work to get the takedown. I think look I'm at that, here. Look at that. Golly. Look at his leg yeah. already. Yeah. Yeah. His leg's showing. And I'd like to see Fallon throwing less punt kicks and more punches. Yeah. Try to utilize that reach advantage. Yeah. Plus, you know, when he's in there, he's throwing punches. He's pushing his opponent backwards. I like to see. I mean, Adam's not going to be able to fight as well throwing those kicks if he's backing up. Yeah. Chris, do you prefer punches over kicks uh, across uh, the board? I, I, I typically do personally, but I mean, not necessarily, but I'm just saying okay. in this situation right now, you don't want to trade kicks with a kicker. You want to take away that okay. his advantage and push him backwards. Gotcha. And that's something that can be missed in translation. Asenza is a kicker. Yeah. And Fallon is not. No. And mm. So why do you want to, So why play that? Exactly. Okay. You want him to back up. If you're going to stay in his range, he's probably going to beat you at his game. Sean needs to work on right now trying to turn his opponent. Yeah, Senza making a foul and carrying his weight. Just good little trip and there. Not only is that a good trip, but he went, finished right in the side mount. Mm -hmm. Exactly where he wanted to be. Fallon's very good from the guard, but side mount a little bit different. Yeah, this is a bad spot for Fallon. So good job right now, but Senza using his legs to try and get that dominant position. Fallon reaching for the Kimura grip, but he's going to have trouble finishing it here from now north-south. Yep. He's going to have to try and come out with this. Which I guess every once in a while you can get a Kimura from there and, and reverse the position, well, but it's not yeah, too, not not too do, common. Really. Yeah, you can use it to improve your position uh, and anchor to move your hips, but 
I guess sometimes if you're on the bottom, that's you can grab that. That's really all you got. Yeah. Yeah. You utilize that to, to transition to another position. You're not yes. really trying to finish it t typically. I mean, Fallon's doing a good job right now of blocking the right or the left leg, I should say, but since of making it where he can't move it well. But yeah, for as bad as the position has been for Fallon, he hasn't taken much yeah, damage. Yeah, I mean, once they've gotten to the ground, he really hasn't taken any damage. All the damage that was taken was on his feet with the leg kicks, but yeah. I mean, besides that, I haven't seen much. Looks like Fallon might be working on the neck here, but Sins are doing a good job of hand fighting, addressing yep. that right away. Yeah. Fallon looks like he's trying to squeak out to the side here. Sins are doing a good job of putting the knee on. And he's more than happy to come to his feet, probably yeah. look to throw another kick. Now Fallon needs to really start letting the hands go right here. Oh, Asenza barely missed with that over right. Asenza is throwing. Yeah. Well, he, his corner is doing such a good job of, of counting down these seconds to him. 30 yeah, seconds. let him he's, know exactly what's going on. He knows I, I really have nothing to lose by ripping here. I mean, and Fallon's really not putting enough on his punches or kicks at this point. He really has got to step up uh, that aspect of his game because he really wasn't able to get in the position. He likes to be from his back in the guard, wasn't able to get there. Very good round for Adam Simpson right there. Yeah, I'm impressed. Um, another very impressive Canadian. We'll see if Fallon's able to adjust. I, I think he will. I, he's a smart fighter. He's experienced. I think that he'll be able to, to change the role a little bit. We said it earlier, Fallon has won 10 out of 11. Yeah. His one loss was to Ruben War, who's no, yeah. no bum himself. Yeah. And Fallon avenged that loss. Yeah. yeah. So what Fallon needs to do at this point, he needs to step up his, his striking. He wasn't throwing with much conviction. It was just kind of feelers out there. Well, I think I heard the corner of Fallon yelling when Asenza was throwing the, the leg kick to just throw the right hand, which is why he wasn't checking it. He's got to be careful, though. Those, those punches are near misses right there. And, and they're ones. ripping hard. Looks like Fallon is trying to work his jab early and often, but yeah. is having difficulty finding the range, maybe? Uh, even when he's throwing these kicks, they, they just don't feel like they're, they're, they're with bad intentions, you know what I mean? Yeah. And Fallon cannot let him pass go. Okay. Nice. Ascends his corner, just saying up, up, up. Yeah. We're not playing that. Snuck in a right hand there. And ended right on in the, in the side mount, man. I mean, that's a great job. Short elbow landed there a couple times yeah. before Fallon was able to cover. Yeah. Ended right in the side mount right now. Fallon's got to figure out a way to get out of that position. He has to become urgent. Yeah. He's got to look to underhook from this position right now. He's just kind of trying to defend the elbows, which is fine, but at the same time, you're not going to improve your position right there. Yeah. Good job. But a sensor right away just pushing well, the knee. Well, as soon as he's not going to sit in Tom Fallon's guard. I mean, it's smart. He's probably watched his fights. He knows how good he is from that guard. Yeah. So it's good body kick right there by Fallon needs to do. He's got that reach advantage right now. That kick was a little harder, but Asenza just rips it right back. And Fallon right now needs to throw some knees right there and see how. I mean, Asenza just turns effortlessly. Yeah. And he's being very explosive with his yeah. movements. Gets in a bad position. I'm going to spin out and, and really turn this guy. Sends just cooking the beans here. 
I mean, he's staying close enough to Fallon where Fallon's really working to, to land some little elbows and everything. He can't get yeah. it done. He's doing a good job of making Fallon uncomfortable, I feel. Look at that, just very effortlessly. He, he, he ducks underneath the, the punches and kicks of Fallon. Well, earlier we heard the corner of Sean Fallon saying, you got to get him on his back foot, get him moving backwards. And he might be in that boxing range that you were talking about, Chris. Exactly. That's what Fallon needs to stay the whole time. And every time right there, it starts to seem like Fallon's starting to do yeah. something. I mean, that takedown's every every once. Now Fallon's starting to get the, trying to get in the guard position. He can't get it. I mean, since it's being very smart and slick about it. And now right here, he's in a bad position, is Fallon, and he's going to have to spend another minute to get out of this position. Yeah, and he's spending time and energy. This is... There's, there is no positive to this for Fallon. You, you have to, at all expenses, work to not get out of this position, but not end up in this position. Exactly, because once you get in, it's just going to take you time to get out. I've been impressed with this his ability to end up right from takedown to yeah. side mount. Yeah, he's, he's not staying in guard. He's not no. staying in half. He, he knows where he wants to be. Exactly. The few times when it, when Fallon has been threatening his closed guard. He's out of there. Yeah, he'll just stand up like he's going to do right now. It's like, yeah. I don't want to be there. Right away, the corner, the corner says attack that leg, and the center throws it right away. Punch yeah, to the leg. <laughs> a punch to the leg. Fallon's got to come forward with some aggressiveness yeah. right now. He's Has to. I mean, like I said, when he's throwing stuff, it just doesn't seem like right now he's having much. Yeah. Putting much on to it. That was, that was a good, good kick. Yeah. Yeah. Fallon connected there while moving backward just a little bit. Well, Fallon's got to finish this fight in the yeah. third round if he wants to win, I feel. I, I agree. I think he's down two to nothing. Now, he, he did look a little bit better there towards the, the last half of that second round, I thought. So, and you can see a pretty good little knot forming underneath the eye. Yeah. Bad and sings it, but I mean, I, I don't think it's going to be enough to change the, the no. course of this fight. No. And here's right here, just... A little bit of the action right there. This would look like when uh, since it was kind of took a few punches. Look at his head works. Head movement's very good. It's very elusive, hard to hit. That kick just missed. Yeah. Sean Fallon. But since it's doing a great job of cutting angles, he's you know he's not a sitting target, so it's making it very difficult for Fallon to piece him up. Well, and, and where Fallon really has to improve right now is when he does get taken down, he has to end up in the guard. And if not, he's got to come back and throw harder punches and kicks. He's got to finish this fight, like you said. You have to know that urgency is there right now. Now for Fallon, it becomes a question of what is the the most likely path to finishing the fight. I think, round. as Chris said earlier, it would be to get into that boxing range and to really attack with combinations. Yeah, but the the problem is that Asenza is doing Asenza is the fighter that's angling. Okay. Yeah. So the center's moving. Fallon is trying to match his movement. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm saying Fallon needs to get off first. You know, you, you can't let your opponent dictate the pace and when the fight happens and where it happens. Well, and right here we see Fallon. He's going down. He just needs to find a way to get it into the guard. Yeah. So he didn't end up in his guard. He's yeah. ended up in a very bad position right there. Which obviously it's easy for me to say sitting here. But yeah, it's he, a lot. It, trust me, it's a lot easier here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, very good from right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm one of the one of the best. I'm undefeated. <laughs> so, but, the foul's got to yeah, hold that on neck. On the neck. No, uh, he let it go. But now he's in the guard where he wants to be. He sends it just stands up and chills. It's, it's such dominant position, like control right here. Yeah, this seems very comfortable. He's blocking everything he needs to. Oh, 
Fallon thought about standing up as Sandra just shelves the leg. And look how he passed the guard right there. Yeah. I mean, just taking everything that he was being given by Fallon. Really impressed with the uh, cornering that Sins is getting. Yeah, like like we've talked about though, we're not getting any easy fights from Canadians no. anymore. I mean, <laughs> no, apparently not. If they're coming down here, they're coming to win. Yeah. A sense of just work and. I mean, he Fallon's got to start trying to pull some submissions out at this point. He's yeah. start doing some Hail Marys, in my opinion. You know, clinch up, try the flying triangle. I mean, yeah. what do you, I mean, anything. Stuff. I guess a lot of the credit for Asenza thus far has to be to his ability yeah. to pass the guard of Fallon. Yeah. Oh, because that's where Fallon's been dominant. He gets in his guard, and he's been very effective. Not able to get that done in this situation. Asenza's probably going to return Fallon here. No. I mean, Asenta, he just brought his, his lunch pail today, right? Yeah. He's I mean, grinding this. I mean, once again, Fallon right now trying to get a single leg. I don't know if that's going to be enough to, to win the fight. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I don't even know if he's, if he's going to be able to finish it. No, I mean, you need to work on a finishing move right yeah. here, whatever that is. And like I said, these knees aren't really doing it. If Fallon keeps reaching up for the head every time he he's getting taken down, he's reaching up for the head. Good job of Fallon there by standing up, yeah, off very, balancing Asenza. Using the butterfly hook a little bit yeah. there to get up. Yeah. Good knee in the face right there. Oh, Fallon threw an uh, elbow. Fallon could go Fallon for a needs to go for yeah. 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 I know Fallon's got a very good darts, but he's not utilizing it there. Yeah. Is it Senza slowing down right now? Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> One minute left in the third and final round. Found's really got to work. I, I mean, I like that position he was in. With the right now, he needs to try a darts or something that yeah. nature, or try some knees of the body, knees of the face. Fallon is not yeah. quit quitting. Right now, Fallon can really. Whizzer. Something tells me that neck of Asenza is not easy to choke. Yeah. God, Fallon is ripping this. Good combos. Oh, uh, that that yeah. right there secured it, I believe. This has turned into a hell of a fight. Yeah. yeah. Well, Fallon, he's got about 15 seconds to try to throw something up here. Go, 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 go plata right there if he can get it. Maybe Uma Plata. And he rolls out of it. Fallon's on top. Good fight.
rounds of action, we go to the judge's scorecard. Judge number one scores 29-28, Ascenza. Judge number two scores it 29-28 for Fallon. Yeah! And judge number three scores it 29-28 for the winner by split decision, Adam Ascenza! All right, I'm here with the winner, Adam. Congratulations on a very tough fight against a very tough opponent. What are your thoughts on the fight? Yeah, definitely tough. He hit me with a nice knee in the front. First minute of the round, hurt my rib. Good on him, man. He's the long, tough opponent. Looked like your uh, game plan coming out. You came out, landed a lot of good kicks, really hurt his leg. Uh, was that the game plan, come out there and soften him up for the takedown or what? Yeah, you know, I like to make it exciting for the crowd. I like to strike, Chris, and... Uh, that was the plan, but I got hurt and had to adapt. Looked like you were very good at um, ending up when you would go to the ground, you would end up right in the side mount. Looked like, have you watched something on the a video about not wanting to be in his guard? I know, you know, he's a good grappler. And my uh, Jits coach, Paul Jalbert, he's the best, so he prepared me. Okay, well, what can we expect to see from you next? You've done very well lately, won several in a row. What's next for you? Just the next guy. I want to keep him exciting. I want to bring the leather, and uh, I want to be a crowd favorite. Well, you did it tonight. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Yep.